Welcome to yet another video. My name is Moses and I review living spaces in the hope that we can get inspirations for our own space. Today we are in this lovely space. It's actually an Airbnb. The owner has given us exclusive access to the place in the hope that you guys can come here and stay here for a period of time. And as always, link to the space is in the description down below. You know what guys let's try and get this video to like a thousand views and likes so that it can be easier for us to get to these spaces and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when i post a new video welcome to another house tour and today we are in this uh, airbnb and we are in the heart of umoja and uh, i've decided to do a bit of exploring around and i have come across this place i found it on airbnb so i've actually come here to review the place so this is what you have you have your common area this is a basic studio, a studio apartment slash you can in kenyan can kenyans call these places like this one instead of studio apartments they are called bed sitters mm -hmm. so yeah so this is a basic uh, bed sitter and actually it's a very big space very very huge compared to my place um i'm kind of jealous kiddo. i'm kind of jealous of the space i can imagine the things i can can i can be able to put a bed there a sitting area uh, with a TV there, with a uh, kitchen area over here. Before I lose track, let's uh, start with the tour. So over here you have your front door over here. So yeah, uh, uh, the lady has put a curtain slash leso uh, with a Kenyan flag over there. Like Juvenia Kuam Kenya. Yeah. And this is basically when you walk in, there's a bathroom. So this is the bathroom plus toilet plus the shower head over there and don't mind the shower the the <clears throat> don't mind the the current situation down there up there and uh, I don't think I can shower over there so yeah just putting it out there anyway so this is the common area you have a maker like um, Somewhere you can put your shoes, your shoe rack there. Uh, very nice, in buyer. And um, before, cause uh, this place, you may notice a kuna cabinet. So I think in your cabinets here, yeah, whoever will be coming here to like stay. Uh, you have your gas. On the last check, I kuna gas. I kuna gas, kuna gas. So atutalalanja, So yeah, this is your kitchen. Uh, cabinets ziko kaza over here, you can see. I think it's a bit too low for me because I'm a bit tall. Nasikia ni kama naumia mgongo hapa. Nasikia ni kama ingekuwa tall la kidogo, ingekuwa sawa. But anyways, it's okay, it's okay, Simba. Eh uh, plus I like the basic setup of this place cuz cabinets ziko um, any you can reach your stuff from any angle you want cuz you can see cabinets ziko uh, well set up like that. Kama angeka draws cabinet kwa nyumba inge kwa sawa. Lakini yakuna, you can apo uh, sasa mtu anajipanga. <laughs> then you have your mat here. Which uh, is very important to have a mat next to your sink. Apo wamepata points kidogo. Then there is uh, your dustbin over there. And this fridge over there. And don't mind, that's my mask. Uh, watu wajikinge banu, watu wajikinge. It's still Corona, and that's your bed. The bed, I, I think before from the pictures we I saw, this uh, couch was somewhere there, or somewhere here. This couch was not here. So yeah, I think the owner should have left the place as it was. The, the before it was, it it looked nice, looked nice. For now, for me it looks uh, eco cluttered, kidogo. So. Yeah, 
So I'm just putting it out there. So certainly I'm I'm dissing the place. So. But it's, it's okay, it's okay, Simba. So this bed is where I think it's a very unique bed. Uh, as you can see, the mat I mean, it's made of wood, wood. And I believe this thing will give you a nightmare when you are moving out because I can imagine how heavy this thing will be. It's how heavy this thing is. Imagine you okay, move out and everything. Eh? But anyway, I like the design. Uh, I came here for the design. I mean, as I told you before, this is uh, it's one of the places that inspired my place. I mean according to the pictures before yeah according to the pictures before because there was a dining area here this couch was here and the bed it looked so simple elegant it was perfect uh, i think over the years mambo can change because here, here there was a wall art for the visitors and everything so yeah but i majaribu ameka some posters over here kuna wall painting ya hiyo the Maasai ladies the calabash the pots and the spongebob and the dining table and the thing about this place i'm jealous about this place so of course because of the windows because i don't have any windows in my place yeah and there's a message here i think there's a message for you guys i think it's an inspiration quote or something uh, you have your mirror over there and so this is what you get when you walk out of the balcony so this is the balcony over here current situation kuna mtungiza maji so it means the place kuna shida maji yeah ukiwa na hizo mtunge in your whatsapp so here you have your your lines and I'm trying not to shout so that the neighbor can't hear me. So yeah, so this is the view from outside. The window kuna kanji. Yeah. <coughs> so, so this place here tini, I think uh, the rent here it kikuwa more than 10,000. Uh, Sijui. If you are more than 10,000 up or Nukugongwa. So yeah, uh, you can guess how much the rent is. I'll ask around and see how much the rent is. I'll put it on the screen once I find uh, out about it. If I don't, well, I'm good. Nisawa to mtanisame on that point. So so basically, this is how it looks like. It, it was for me, the bed in the car, like in the bed is too big. It's too big. And in Gacha bed apple, I could have had my sitting area. That couch, that couch was perfect there. It was so perfect. I don't know why she moved the place. The fridge there, the kitchen area, then your dining table apple katikati. Apple in Gokwa to perfection. This place was perfect. I don't know what happened, Mona may change, but anyway, Kilam Tuna. But basically, this is what you'll get once you book the space, and I'm not, and and I'm not bashing anyone. So yeah. So see you guys in the next one, and don't forget to like, share, and comment on the video. Tell me what you think. Mwana ni kama vitu kwa ground ni different. I mean, tell me what you think. Yeah. So see you in the next one. Peace.